Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. We are here, standing beside our cow shed with our Massey and our little old baler. Uh, this afternoon we need to crack on with some more of the baling. Uh, I'd like to get both the uh, cow meadow and the sheep's meadow over yonder baled up today and to try and get started on uh, some of the bale stacking. We do have an Arcus in um, it's like a four stack, quad stack, something, quad stack, something like that. Um, so that should stack our small bales for us. So let's jump in the Massey. Now, a little word of warning for today. The steering hasn't gone on me yet, so at some point in this video, the steering will go. So let's just uh, get this unfolded. We'll go find ourselves a nice place to start. Looks nice with the uh, the dew coming through. The the uh, late autumn mist. Can't remember where are oh, we start here, so we'll uh, we'll follow from where we uh, from where we rode it as best we can. Although I will say my centre spring feels very loose. That feels a bit better. Right. Steering didn't go, it was just loose today. It's, uh, it's a funny old game we play with the steering. So we'll do a little bit of out of cab here. We'll, uh, we'll see these bales in production. Okay, I hope everyone's doing well. Enjoying your time. I hope the new year has treated you well. It's, uh, now be in February. I'm recording this in January, but we'll now be in February. 2022 is underway. 2022 is going to be the year of Mr. Farquhar. As uh, as we record this, I am one subscriber away from 500. So if, if for whatever reason I've still not got one more subscriber by the time this comes out and you are new to the channel and you're watching this and you're thinking you know what this guy don't seem too bad he's not a professional but he's having fun he's living the dream hit that subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live because we're having all sorts of fun here on Mr. Farquhar's gaming channel we are farming we are trucking we are horizon Zero Dawning. We're playing new, not necessarily new, but uh, unusual indie games that I don't normally play. We're giving it all a crack. And uh, as time goes on, I'll be looking to add more to the channel, continually trying to grow, continually trying to um, expand the audience. Because uh, I enjoy so much when it comes to gaming, always have, and to uh, sort of close myself off to the particular niche this is what I want to do uh, not necessarily going to be a complete variety gamer <coughs> excuse me because for that you need to be hot on the new titles early releases and such and I have too much fun with my trucks and my tractors but I do like to share a little bit of everything else that I do and I'd like to do some older games that I really enjoy and have really enjoyed that I'd be happy to play again. I'd like to go through the Assassin's Creed games again and sort of share that with you guys and stuff like that. And there'll always be new ones to uh, jump on as they come along. But I've been having a whale of a time, almost coming up to a year anniversary on the channel, which will be massive. I think we've uh, we've hit some good milestones on the channel in our first year, and uh, it's not even up yet. We've still got a uh, got a few more weeks yet until we're one year old. And like I say, we uh, we're closing in on, or maybe have surpassed by the time this comes out, 500 subscribers. We've had over what's that, 8,100 watch hours. If not more. Probably, like I say, by the time this comes out, we could be looking closer to 9,000 watch hours in our first year. 
Uh, 85,000 views. 85,000 views on this little channel. It's absolutely crazy. So to anyone and everyone that has watched a video, that has liked a video, that has subscribed, to everyone that's commented, left feedback, good or bad, I thank you all very much. It is so much appreciated. And uh, keep it up. It's, uh, it's a great thing. I'm having a whale of a time with this. As a grown man playing video games, it's awesome. <laughs> Let's just sort of sneak into this next loop. But we are going to be busy, 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 busy. We're going to get these in. We need to uh, decide where I'm going to keep them. I think the shed opposite the other um, cow pasture. I think that's where these all go. Once I've worked out how to stack them. I've not used the uh, the small baler stacker. So that could be interesting when that comes along. So we've got one in a shed. We'll do that. I'm not sure how you move them once all the little ones are stacked. There's still lots of little bales. So that could be uh, interesting. Probably just be me constantly flinging bales about for a bit. We are going to have a lot. We've still got that whole field that we've already done. The first um, cow <laughs> meadow. I want to keep referring to one as the dairy and one as the uh, beef stock. But we've not actually got any animals in either of them yet. But I did say I would... Uh, that was sort of what I plumbed on when I was on an hour about what we're going to do with each one. I think one, one for dairy cattle and one for beef cattle is how we'll play this so then I'll just have milk storing up in one spot rather than uh, across the two and I don't know how it works because once again it's not something I've looked into I've not done any any animals other than chickens on uh, FS22 yet. It would be cool if your dairy cows, because they don't um, produce milk, or they shouldn't produce milk anyway, until they've um, at least given birth once, I think. So, it'd be cool if when they give birth, you got a mixture of um, dairy and beef cattle as well, so you could get a male or a female. I don't know how it works. We'll find out, and hopefully we'll find out quite quickly on this series, um, because it doesn't look like anything's happening on Ube. <laughs> that is a slow growing farm. It's uh, it's just feels so much easier coming in established, although we need the money. Um, we still haven't really gone out. We've done two contracts, that's it so far, and this is, I think, our seventh episode. Um, but not every episode is a new day, so this could only be our uh, third or fourth day. As I have been splitting them a little bit like I did with the uh, survival start from scratch on No Man's Land back on 19. And an episode for the morning, an episode for the evening. We're currently running two day seasons. If things get hectic, we'll up it to three. And um, when we can afford it, and things get hectic, we shall get ourselves some workers. I think workers is something they're going to start to use soon on Ube as well. Um, I've had someone comment, uh, must have been last week, that we should, or I should look to buy a second tractor, even if it's a small one, I think they said even a small one, uh, just so we could have a a worker doing some jobs and then I can go out and contract or send the take on a contract, set, put the worker on it and I can do the work on the farm I think is what we discussed. Um, it's a good idea. Once again on that save we've not got a lot of money either. So uh, it in costs. This is uh, this field is filling up with bales. <laughs> 
Uh, hopefully, I say hopefully, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this baler. I mean, it's the first time I've used it in 22. I've used it in 19, and uh, I think I said, I'm sure this was in 17 as well. It's just, yeah, you, know, you end up with a lot of little bales. <laughs> that's, that's ultimately the thing, isn't it? I think I'd prefer a round baler to this, but what I really would like is a, a nice square baler. Um, Anyone who's followed the channel for any period of time will know that I am a little bit obsessed with bailing. I do really enjoy it. So uh, I would like to see a, a wider option on the baler front. That would be cool. Certainly. More and more mods are coming in though. The modders are doing an absolutely stunning job. We're getting some great stuff. Um, both from the mod hub and I've been perusing a few of the... Uh, third party sites and getting mods from around there they're looking good not many of them have come into the let's place yet because once again we still need the money to buy them and I've been so busy lately I haven't had a chance to really do any mod reviews I started getting into them and that was cool they were fun but it's just getting the time to do everything on the channel that you want to do I say it's, uh, it would be nice to say that you're a full-time content creator but I do have other obligations and um, a year on a lot of what I do is still done late at night when my family are abed because I don't like to cut into too much of that time plus it's easier to do continuous stuff and people aren't interrupting I really was hoping to bring back the uh, live streams, but since we've moved house, um, sort of late last year, the uh, internet where we are isn't very good, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, it would seem that uh, super fast fibre optic broadband hasn't yet reached this far towards the coast. So we've moved right on to the uh, Stangling coast and uh, it's just not here. <laughs> it's not existent. We moved in and uh, we were sorting out with our supplier. And they were like, oh yeah, we can uh, we can upgrade it for you there. It's uh, this, 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 that and that. And it worked out cheaper to go faster. So, oh, brilliant. That'd be lovely. Because we both game, we both have channels. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so they upgraded our potential speed. Oh, awesome. But the speed that's available is so much less. So it's a good job it was cheaper. Um, it's just one of them things. Hopefully, hopefully we can uh, eventually, I don't know, get that sorted as a nation, I guess. Right, I think that is pretty much all I'm going to get off this field. There's a few little bits about, as there often are. That looks pretty good to me. Plenty of bales. So if we just um, that unload. There's only the one bonus one in there, and uh, we'll head over to the other field, and uh, we shall bale that one up as well.
our third field of uh, hay uh, baled up. Not sure what the time is. Must be getting on. Ten past four. Yeah, we've got time to get some baling done today. So I'd like to be able to get as much done before going to rest, because then we'll uh, we'll consider that at the end of the day when we rest. So if we turn off and un unload, popped out, we shall now fold up. We'll go and put the baler away with the rest of the uh, grass equipment. Which is round by cattle shed. Our stacker is on our left, I believe. So we'll be uh, hooking that up and we'll be giving that a crack in a minute. Never used it before, so uh, be interesting. And I've not seen anyone use it before. I don't think, anyway. Not that I can recall. Back it up. There we are. That'll do. That's in. Now, will the uh, stacking, will the stacker, the Arcusian stacker, will that be fine on the back of here? Oh, I just noticed the uh, the wear on this tractor. We need to do some repairs soon. Go have a look and see what sort of condition the uh, the John Deere is in. Probably in much the same. I don't think we've got a workshop here. Not a hundred percent. Let's just jump in here first. No, the John Deere's fine. Okay, we'll do stacking with the John Deere and then. Later on, I shall take the Massey and uh, get that repaired. We haven't got a, um, a garage ourselves. I was going to say we could buy one and sort out, but with 31 grand, we may not be able to. I'm sure we could find a workaround. Back this up. Again, I don't know why the gears get stuck on this. Getting some flickering today as well. I've not had flickering in this game um, other than the autumn trees on Ube. Well, I've noticed today we've got a little bit of flickering on the graphics. Um, who was the first field? We'll do the first field first. Try and turn this around. Let's have a little go around. We'll have a look and see what this does. I think we left the gate open. We did. When we've not got animals, I'm perfectly fine with leaving gates open. It makes no difference. Right. So, how does this work? Do we... It doesn't unload unload. Oh, we just... Just turn it on. Okay. Let's just turn it off. We walk it through the gate. Now, does this work like all the other stackers? Will this. Um... Yeah, oh, yeah, put the bales in the right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's cool. Turned it.
How many does it hold? Two. What's that? Four, six, eight, twelve, fourteen, something like that. We'll, uh, we'll fill it up and then we'll have a little go at unloading it and see what it does. Whether we need to uh, load a stack on the field and then get the wheel loader to um, carry it over or whether we have to try and unstack it in a shed. Could be interesting. See me try and back this up repeatedly with about a million bales. <laughs> I guess that's sort of the only issue with uh, the small bales. Um, if you're on console, which we currently are, but if you're on console and there's a bale, li bale limit, you're soon going to hit that bale limit with all these about. And you get yourself a couple of hundred of these little babies, your lag is going to be horrific. Brain rate drop would be terrible. I have. Uh, FS22 on console as well and just with a trailer of um, pallets the frame rate was, frame rate was horrific so we've got 12 on there so we get 14 really need is one of the um, the bumpers for this now what I want to do is go and find myself can we not turn that off now no okay I want to find myself a bit of space if I've got to unload it stack of these blooming things. If I just over here, I'll knock it over. And then they'll all be on the floor waiting to get picked up again. Might not be get. If I try and stack them, say out the front here, let's see what happens. Obviously they don't want to live here. So unload. It's a good guess that it's going to unload them. What? What's that going to do? Oh, it's just going to push them out. They're stuck together. What? I'm confused. Does this... go in in case it closes. Are they somehow entwined? They are. Oh, look at that. It's cool. I didn't know that that did any sort of twining. Can't see any twine on it. Anyway, yeah, look at that. That's, that's twined up to make one big bale. That's, that's a high density bale. 8,400 litres. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We may, well... Probably be nice to, uh... That's it, close it up. Be nice to have a proper baler. I say a proper baler, a larger baler. But if this is going to turn them into big... 8,000 litre bales... Then that's not bad. There's certainly worse things that could be happening here. How I'm going to get these all done, though. This might have to be a job that I do through the night off-screen, because I've got... i got two more fields of this. Two more. Right, let's get a better camera angle. Nudge it in. Find the bush. Ooh. 
I think we want one of them uh, front plates for nudging them around. A bail pusher. Thing of a jiggy. Yeah, this is going to take me all bloody night. Right. I'm going to quit moaning. I'm going to shut up for a bit. And uh, we'll crack on and I'll get as many of these done as I can before it gets dark. Wish me luck. Uh, stacks done. Uh, it's getting dark. It's getting late, and uh, yeah, this is this is very time-consuming. Um, it's been good, and uh, you know, I, I think I called it something else, but it is. We can't even see it in the light now. The Arcusen Multipack D14. It's, it's a cool little bit of kit. It's uh, it's obviously going to make handling these tiny bales easier but you've got to get them stacked first but I'm going to be doing this all night um, I don't want to roll into tomorrow and make another episode where I'm just baling or even stacking not baling where I'm just stacking the bales uh, so yeah I'm going to do as much of this as I can through the night it may even be a case of I'm doing this in the morning as well and you guys will join me tomorrow around about midday as I finish um, stacking the other fields or after I finish stacking the other fields and we get ready to move them and sort something out and move on to a new job. So with that, that is going to be the end of today's video. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I say, it's new equipment, doing something different, uh, slightly progressing the farm, very, very, very so slightly, very so slowly. Um, but yeah, if you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. And like I said earlier, if you are new, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. Uh, uh, we've got so much going on. So much. And like I say, 2022 is going to be Mr. Farquhar's year. And uh, we are going to blow this channel up. Be part of it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. I'm sure that by the time this drops, we'll be at 500 or more. So thank you. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.